Good morning, everybody. It is day 22, I think. <laughs> um, boy, am I tired today. I don't know why. I thought I slept really good last night, but you can probably see it in my eyes. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a great day. Um, <clears throat> here we are parked in John for a little while, maybe a week, maybe two weeks. I um, can't remember at the moment, but today we are going to be studying John 5, 38. It says, nor does his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one he sent. One of my first lessons on here was John 5, 47. In that, we talked about how nobody believed in Jesus. Everybody was a skeptic. <clears throat> Okay, and then just the other day, I told y'all that I had like a epiphany of why everybody's a skeptic in my Bible study is because I'm learning, we, we are learning about belief. And in order to learn about believe, you have to learn about the skepticism also of everybody. So you have to have, um, like yesterday I said, you have to have blind faith because you can't physically touch the Lord. You can't physically see God. You can see his works and what he does around us, but we can't just, you know, reach out and touch him and say, hey, hey, dude, what you doing? Or anything like that. <clears throat> but this here is such an important message that needs to be conveyed again. <clears throat> So let's read this passage again. It's in verse 31. It says, If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another one who testifies in my favor, and I know that this testimony about me is true. Verse 33. You have sent to John, and he has testified to the truth. Not that I accept human testimony, but I mention it that you may be saved. See, he's trying to get all of these uh, leaders uh, and, and people to be saved. And they're such skeptics, they don't believe anything he says. They believe John the Baptist, but they don't believe Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Verse 35 says, John was a lamp that burned and gave light, and you chose for a time to enjoy his light. I have testimony weightier than John for the works that the Father has given me to finish. The very works that I am doing testify that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice nor seen his form. See, we've, we've never physically heard the Lord's voice, nor seen his form. We're the, in the same boat as all of these people that, that Jesus is talking to right here. And then this is our verse. It says, Nor does his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one he sent. Isn't it sad that the smartest people, the ones leading, the ones that were in charge of the church did not believe <clears throat> that Jesus was the Son of God? Isn't that amazing? It's just oh, baffling to me that they they couldn't get past their disbelief to believe. And isn't it sad that today the same thing is going on? The smartest, the ones leading, and maybe some of the leaders of a church don't believe in God. Not my church. My, my pastor believes in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, he does. And uh, many churches they are. But there are, you know, there are some churches out there that um, they don't believe in the Lord. What is it? The, they just don't believe in anything. I don't understand that. It just blows my mind that they don't believe that there's a Lord. But that's why I'm here. I'm trying to convey the Lord's messages to everybody so that 
Maybe it'll touch somebody that is not a believer and they will see through my messages somehow, some way, I don't know, that there is the one true God and He is the Lord and Savior and He will save you from total damnation in hell. That's my goal here is to reach even just one person. I have no idea how many people my messages reach. I don't even think about that. Um, but I feel like God brought me here for a purpose to reach somebody. Maybe many somebodies. I have no idea. But for some reason, he placed it on my heart to do this uh, Believe Bible study. Um, so I can only hope that it's reaching somebody and they're, they're learning more about the Lord and either have already become a believer or will become a believer. So I'm reminded of a pastor that was helping an abuser by allowing him to hide out in her church. Now this is just recently. Exactly where in the Bible is spousal abuse okay? We have laws, and contrary to what people say, these laws are based on the Ten Commandments. To me, this is a pastor that has lost her way. She needs a come to Jesus meeting, <clears throat> and the abuser needs to stand trial for what he has done. All right, off on my high horse there. Now, back to the Bible. No matter what, Jesus was not going to win this fight, argument, or court case, or whatever it was. These men held too much power over the population. It was like, whatever these guys said, everybody believed. But did Jesus back down? Nope. When we are arguing or debating our Christian beliefs, should we back down? Nope. Nope. We have the backing of God. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that, um, like last night, our church is expanding. And so, I posted on the group page of the place where we're expanding to because I live in that community. And we're, how we're, how it's being accomplished is um, we are going to use the cafeteria or the auditorium or something of a brand new school that's being built um, here in this community because this community is blowing up. Um, somebody on the group was like, how can a church use a public facility, blah, 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 blah. You know what? I didn't even respond to that because it's not for me to argue. It's already been decided. It's done. They cannot change that now. It's done. So stupid arguments like that, I'm not going to respond to. But if somebody is telling me that I'm, I'm, I am stupid for believing that there is a Lord Jesus Christ and that he can save, I will argue that fact in a heartbeat. I will debate them on that um, because that's where we are supposed to stand up. Dumb stuff like, I can't believe they ran out locally owned businesses to start a preschool. Well, we didn't run them out. We purchased the building. One of them had just opened, I think. So I, I didn't even know that we had this service here in our community. The other one, I'm not sure. I think they were the owners of the of the complex. I'm not for sure on that, so don't quote me. Um, and I'm not, I'm not really sure how much they were making. You know what I mean? So anyway, dumb stuff like that. I don't argue with. I don't even give them the time of my day. You know, the time of day. I, I just didn't even respond back to that silliness. Um, but anyway. We should not back down. We should, you know, tell everybody that we can. 
that there is a Lord Jesus Christ and he can save you and you can you can choose everybody can choose either they're gonna be saved and go to heaven or they're going to not believe and go to hell that's completely up to you I choose to believe that there is a Lord Jesus Christ and I hope that many others believe that also so there are too many pastors like the one that I was talking about a while ago in this world praise God my pastor is not like that he won't back down for nothing <laughs> he's like a pit bull <laughs> there are too many light churches in this world they only preach the lighter side of the Bible the rose-colored glasses side portion people need to be scared to go to hell we are a nation we as a nation as a world need to hear the good bad and ugly of the Bible and there are some ugly parts my Sunday morning class just studied a terrible terrible story from the book of Judges oh it was awful um, I honestly had not we had studied Judges but I had not really, I guess I glossed over that part because I had not really read through it and really figured out what happened. Ugh, it was gruesome. Um, I will not be scared to spread the word of God, ever. I will never be bullied to stop doing what I'm doing. If the Lord leads me in a different direction, so be, be it, I will follow. But right now, I'm here to squash the skeptics and spread the word of God through YouTube, this YouTube, YouTube channel. Um, so I encourage you to go out and spread the word however the Lord is leading you. You can, I mean, you don't have to do a YouTube channel. You don't have to teach a Sunday school. There are so many ways to help further the kingdom of the Lord. Uh, even from, like I, we talked about before, even from picking up trash in the parking lot. Nobody's going to stop at a church that looks crummy. There may be some that stop. But if you're trying to reach the masses, you want your place to look good. So it's going to take dedication of cleaning the parking lot, making the front of the building look nice and presentable. Um, the insides need to be sparkling. Uh, you need an outreach program. Uh, you need to be out in the community and volunteering in all different facets of the, of the community to get your message out. We, as my, my church, is... Pastor just said it last night that it is known that our church is very community oriented and it's just in our hearts to do that to reach the people that is what we want to do so um, don't worry about these silly little arguments that people have they're not worth it but you know what's right um, people like that you can't change their mind about how the facility is used or whatever you're not going to be able to change it um, because they're too set in their ways hopefully they know the Lord hopefully they will go to heaven um, hopefully my boys don't kill themselves right now because they're wrestling <laughs> knock them out um, hopefully um, you know, hopefully the word gets out there more than the negative gets out there. That's the goal. We want the word out there, not all this negative stuff. And the world is full of negative stuff. So everybody get out there and do your little part. It doesn't matter if it's this big or this big. Everything helps. All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and thank you for all these lovely people that have come out to watch my 
uh, Believe Bible Study today, Lord. I pray that this message and all of my messages will touch whoever it will um, touch or you want it to touch, Lord. Um, I pray for each and every person that is watching this that you're loving, they can feel your loving arms wrapped around them, Lord. And I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye.